One of the best books I've read this year was Ryan Holiday's latest book, Discipline is Destiny. Now, Ryan was thoughtful enough to actually send me autograph copy that's my guy i'm a big ryan holiday fan i think i've read all of his books i have an interview with him on on the channel somewhere i've known ryan for a while this might be one of the best ones discipline is destiny link is in the description and it really just explains how important it is to cultivate discipline but the way ryan talks about it he went beyond the basic explanation of discipline see i've always told people if you listen to any of my content that discipline means you do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it whether you feel like it or not before i read this book the way i thought about that was as it pertains to accomplishing goals things i needed to do to move forward in life but ryan talked about it like that but he also took it to some places where i may have not really thought about it in that way before he gives examples of times where it may be more beneficial to restrain yourself as opposed to like lash out even when you're being attacked so he gave some examples of guys in the civil rights movement who had to like take the punishment in order to actually proceed and and make things better for the further generations like me as opposed to physically fighting back or the way gandhi protested without military might it was like the peaceful protest it takes more discipline than just fighting especially as a man like you want to fight and just fuck people up lord knows i do all the time but it takes discipline to restrain yourself and ryan just gives example after example after example of historical figures who implemented different forms of discipline the way it benefited them and the way it can benefit you and the reason i like this book so much because discipline is, is a topic that's really near and dear to my heart i just know that the average person they're leaving so much success on the table like almost everyone i see i look at them and i'm like man this person does not know what they're even capable of if they really just push themselves but maybe they lack the discipline to do it the beauty of it is discipline can be cultivated it's like a muscle it may be weak now but if you keep flexing that muscle it's gonna keep getting stronger and you'll be able to exert more discipline in your life and you're gonna need it because you're gonna encounter a lot of challenges in life a lot of things are gonna go wrong you're gonna experience a bunch of tragedies before you die. Can you navigate through those without panicking, without acting crazy, without lashing out like a child? Or can you toughen up and work hard to work your way out of these situations? Because they're definitely coming. Or do you have enough discipline to prepare for them? So when they do come, you can take the hit and not have to suffer. You may have heard the old saying, the more you sweat during peace, the less you bleed during war. What does that mean? You're gonna get hit in life. A hit doesn't have to turn into a tragedy. A hit doesn't have to knock you down and knock you out if you prepared for it. So if you were somebody who saved a lot of money during the good economic times or stacked a lot of money or made a lot of good investments, really secured yourself financially, when the recession comes every fucking seven to 10 years, you'll be prepared for it. You can take that hit and come out of a victorious where other people are gonna go bankrupt lose their jobs it's not like we don't know this happens every seven to ten years like would you think the last one was the last one no it's never gonna be the last one but if you have enough discipline to prepare for it and make the right decisions during the good times then you can take that hit without it being a tragedy or even better you can actually capitalize make even more money but all that takes discipline things are going good you want to stay vigilant you don't want to indulge in those things that was another thing i got from the book yeah i already knew this but what people have a tendency to do is to start indulging in the fruits of their labor oh i deserve this i worked so hard now i deserve it and they take their foot off the gas and they expect things to go good forever but that's not life that's not how it works it's always gonna be a fucking problem but if you would have kept fucking grinding during the good times actually made as much money as possible when the bad times hit you'd be strong enough to just take it and it wouldn't be a big deal these are just some of the concepts i got from this book i highly suggest you read it i think you'll look at discipline a different way and you'll find some different ways to implement in your life to help you become more successful